Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over the Abeka curriculum for second grade. Um, I'm gonna be doing the art project, spelling poetry, and the Bible reader. So if you'd like to see a preview, that would be awesome. Stick around and please leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks. Hey guys, so this video is gonna be on art projects, spelling and poetry, and the primary Bible reader. So we are going to start with the art projects. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. So here is your contents. It's going to show each project for what month. So in September, it'll show what there is, October, November, all the way through May. Here is your plan ahead supply list. It shows in September what you're going to need, October all the way through May again. It's pretty helpful. Here's all the items that you're going to need to get before you start the projects in April. So that's pretty helpful. Scope and sequence, concepts and techniques. I'm just going to explain how to do different types of art your glossary of art terminology. And that's continued. Helpful hints for art class. Um, here you have your color wheel and then your yearly supply list. Okay, so project one starts in September. You can see at the bottom right hand corner what lesson it's gonna be. So lesson five, you are going to be working on a color wheel palette. Um, it explains the art concepts, what you're going to need, and what to do. So it continues. Project one still says lesson five. And then that is it for project one. And then it goes on to project two. Again, what you're going to be working on, what you need, and what to do. Okay. So pencil case. You can draw a squirrel and acorn. Teaches you how to draw. When I say you, I mean your child. <laughs> Unless you wanna do this with them. Texture and shading for squirrel and acorn. Glittery fall leaves. Covered wagon. Your liquid measures man. Here's a snow globe, perfect for Christmas, a gift, nativity set, chalk snowscape, that looks fun. Northern Lights salt painting. Wow, these are really cool. We did not work on very much of our art book last year, but this one seems better. <laughs> you can build a bridge, fraction circle animals, huh. Easter Lily's Empty Tomb. A self-portrait, that's awesome. Mother's Day Cake. Don't eat that one, guys. Father's Day Puzzle Card. I think that's it. That's it. That one's actually nice. That looks like it has some good art projects in there. Spelling and Poetry. You're gonna find your contents. Okay, so here is the first spelling list. It shows that it's starting on lesson seven. I'm assuming that everybody starts school on Monday. I don't know, that's how we do it. Um, so if you were to start on Monday, you would have a spelling list every Tuesday. So you're gonna be working on this spelling list all week. And these are the seat work that they need to do. Um, this says lesson seven, this says lesson nine. Okay, so it's gonna be like that every week. You're gonna get a new spelling list. Okay, so moving on to poetry. Here's the contents. Don't mind my post-it. Here is the first poem. So these are the poems for this year. Here's homework. 
these are gonna be your spelling list that you have at the front of the book. But this, you can put in a little binder for them, or if you have a little homework binder or folder that they use to work out of. Um, what I do is every day I have, after my daughter does spelling poetry, I have her use a writing tablet and I have her write each of the spelling words in cursive and in print. I noticed that when I was just having her write them in cursive, she was kind of forgetting how to write print and I want to make sure that both ways is nice and neat when she writes it. So. Um, I have her do that every single day. So that is that. And I did want to show you, here, I'll show you a couple pages of the lists that they have. Just to kind of give you guys a, a look into what their year looks like with some of these spelling words. So as you can see, starting with spelling list 16, this is going to be lesson 81. They're going to start having vocabulary words. So they're going to learn a word and then have to know their definition. So that is definitely new this year. Um, so here, let me get... And that's it for that Primary one. Primary Bible reader. Starts with the Old Testament. And then it starts working through the Bible. I love the illustrations. They're just really pretty. Here we go. Keep on going. Let's see here. Let me just flip through it a little bit. And then we start with Moses. Gideon. And the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Psalms 19.1. So pretty. Wow, look at that. I would love to be going on a hike there. So peaceful. From the rising of the sun into the going down of the same Lord's name is to be praised. Psalms 113.3. And I know we've all been there before. I just love Rebecca. I do. I truly do. Okay, so here's the New Testament. Sorry guys, I'm just looking through this as you guys do. I haven't really sat down and looked at each and every one of these. Life has been pretty busy. I know most of you or all of you have busy lives. This world keeps us busy, right? There we go. Okay. So here's different prayers. And about learning, God wants us to be wise memory work. So this is the ABC Bible verses. I believe they had this in um, the first grade one also. The Lord's Prayer, the Ten Commandments. And that is it, you guys. So that is your look into art spelling and poetry, and the Bible. I hope it was helpful, and I hope to see you guys again. Have a blessed day.